I'm Brian Abel. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Michigan restaurants and bars struggling with the decision to reopen after months of being closed. Governor Whitmer giving the green light on Friday saying indoor dining can resume on February 1st with some restrictions. That includes only opening to 25% capacity with up to 100 people. Tables must be six feet apart with no more than six people per table. And the businesses must close at 10 p.m. Some owners tell Action News opening with such little capacity may not be worth it. About 3,000 people in Oakland County got the Moderna vaccine today. More than 100 county health workers were on hand for this afternoon's COVID clinic at the Suburban Collection Showplace in Novi. An appointment was needed to get in, and we are told every spot was filled. Clinton Township Police investigating after two women were shot and killed while unloading groceries on Friday. It happened at the Nottingham Apartments just east of Gratiot. A witness who called police said that the suspects had been sitting in a car in the parking lot before they got out and shot the woman. Macomb County deputies spotted the suspects driving away from the scene. Dashcam video shows state troopers and deputies chasing the suspects until they crashed at 8 Mile and Van Dyke. Deputies say both suspects were arrested and taken to the hospital. Let's go check out our forecast now with Mike Taylor. Mike. Hey, thanks, Brian. We're going to turn cloudy as we go into the overnight hours and temperatures will be holding steady at around 20 for Monroe as well as Detroit outside the city. Some backyards could actually fall into the teens and we have some snow on the way. It arrives for the morning through the afternoon on Sunday.